What do you see on this x-ray? It is a relatively generic type of a x-ray of a lumbar fusion. This was done through a transforaminal approach, which means we go from the back of the spine, approach the spine from the side, get into the disc, remove the disc and fuse the bones. These are the pedicle screws, which seems to have been placed appropriately. This is the intervertebral device, which is the cage. And these little dots are the manufacturer's way of labeling the implant so we can see on the x-ray where it's sitting. Now, what's important on this x-ray is this bridging bone that formed between the transverse process. And once we see this bridging bone, we can be relatively secure that the bones have fused. At that time, the screws really don't do anything. They're just sitting in the bone and have no function really because the bone already fused. In most cases, we don't take them out. The screws just stay there forever. Occasionally, we have to take it out. This bridging bone, however, usually takes a couple of years to develop to be seen so well on an x-ray. And once that happens, we usually feel good that there's really nothing else to do, at least for that level unless the patient has progression of their arthritis or disc disease that can happen with age or it can happen due to this fusion, but it is uncommon. 